Okay, so let's try uh, this one. It's a percent yield question. Um, it says, a sample of lime, calcium oxide, weighing 69.0 grams, was prepared by heating 131 grams of limestone, which is calcium carbonate. What was the percent yield of this reaction? So um, I've taken the liberty to write down the reaction. So calcium carbonate solid is heated up to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide goes away, okay? So we're left with 69.0 grams of calcium oxide. So it wants us to find the percent yield, but since calcium oxide and calcium carbonate weigh different amounts, their molar mass is different, we're going to have to calculate the number of moles and then compare that, okay? So, um, calcium is 40.01, if I remember correctly, plus oxygen, which is 16, so we've got 56.01 grams of calcium oxide is one mole of calcium oxide. So, okay, so I get 1.23 moles of calcium oxide. So that's how much we produced. This is how much was produced in the reaction. <laughs> okay, so how much could we have? So what was the theoretical yield? Okay, so this is the produced or actual yield. Mm -hmm. So what's the theoretical yield? Well, we've got to go from the starting material to calcium oxide. Okay, so, so for one mole of calcium carbonate, well, let's calculate. So what do we say? 40.01 plus 12.01 plus 3 times 16. 100.02 grams of calcium carbon. Like that, right? So that would give us the mass of calcium carbonate but we want to know what the mass of calcium oxide would have been if it all reacted, so that theoretical yield. So where do we get that molar ratio? We look over at the reaction equation. So for every one mole of calcium carbonate goes to one mole of calcium oxide. So to moles of calcium oxide, so we got 1.23 moles of calcium oxide divided by 1.31 moles of calcium oxide times 100% moles of calcium oxide cancel, and so 1.23 divided by 1.31 times 100% and if we go to three significant figures, we get 93.9%. Yes. I think if we look on the paper, that answers that. Okay. 
Yeah. Any questions about that one? No. Okay. Hopefully it makes sense. I mean it is. I'll get it.